Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Santa Anita Park here on opening day. It is Friday, the 30th of September, 2022. Going to look at the third race from Santa Anita, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean it around the world. Let's go to the third from Santa Anita, which is an allowance optional claimer per $65,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, three year olds and upwards, never won 15000 twice in the main claim starter or state bred race, or she's never won three races or claim price of 80,000 uh, originally we had a field of six horses enter but keep in mind the one horse Pammy's ready is a program scratch so we'll be down to a field of five going to the hillside turf course the distance of ground here of about 1300 meters or about six and one half furlongs down the Santa Anita hillside turf course 1300 meters about six and one half furlongs here and usually your opening day fall feature from Santa Anita was the Eddie D at six and a half down the hill. Um, well, a few years they didn't run those hill races at sprints, but uh, last year they finally did. Uh, this year um, uh, they, they changed it to run it on Friday, which I think they're just uh, run it from Friday to Saturday, which I just think there's too many stakes races tomorrow. I think they could have moved that lead, you know, like the Eddie D to opening day. With that being said, I'm going to take the four horse Sterling Crest as a top selection. Four, five, six in the trifecta for me. Four, five, six, trifecta, top selection of four horse, Sterling Crest, two, three year old filled by No Nay Never, George Papa Padromo trains, Joe Bravo gets the mount. The horse's most recent out again, the 4th of September at Del Mar, one mile and lady claimer off the bench. The horse went by three quarters in length and coming from mid pack, he sat back early. He got a little wide late, but when he got the lead, he held on to a very nice victory. The race set up for him. It was a very good run off the bench. Two back, they tried him a little bit longer at Santa Anita, a mile and the eighth in the honeymoon, and the um, finished fourth by four, uh, seven lengths that day. Was on the front end, but just couldn't stay the trip. It, it wasn't the day to win. And then the Senorita at Santa Anita, one mile the 7th of May. The horse went a second by two and a quarter lengths. Showed some pace, but just couldn't keep up late. You could say for the race before in the Provincia uh, over the mile and eighth here in, uh, in April, where she went a second by four and a half lengths. She didn't break so well. She never really got to the front end, but and never really quickened up. She doesn't want to go five for lengths. I think that's a little bit too short. I think a mile is okay. Mile and eighth, definitely too long. Six and a half down the hillside is what she really wants. She's come to the trip for the first time, and she looks like your hillside kind of horse. At seven to two, we'll use her. I think the five horse you have to use in the pick four and the pick five the five horse freedom flyer uh juan hernandez gets on this one for leonard powell most re most then eh, most recently in the luther Bank burbank at santa rosa over the mile 16th the horseman is second by four and three quarter lengths and just stalked the pace but could never quicken up the winner really won quite nicely and then over the mile late the del mar and optional 80 she finished seven by four and three quarter lengths again just kind of stalked and hit the wall another horse going to the hillside back from routing to a sprinting trip she should really get a good run two to one let's use her in the pick four but to recount my selection for the third on opening day from the great race place, let's take the four horse Sterling Crest, give kudos to the five horse Freedom Flyer, four, five, six, trifecta, four, five in your multi-race. So good luck to all and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck everybody.